Welcome back to What's Up Oxford. I'm here with the lovely Irma, who is an artist and has decorated our set for us. So thank you very much for making the set so beautiful today. Thank you for having me here. So I understand you were hand selected to be a juror at an exhibition. Can you tell us about that? Yes, Mary Reed asked me um, to partake as one of the Canadian jurors for the um, uh, cross-border cultural exchange. Um, it's a sister city event with um, Sylvania and uh, uh, Woodstock, Ontario, uh, Sylvania, Ohio, and um, Visual Element 65 um, is celebrating its 65th anniversary this year by taking the annual jury exhibition across the border to Sylvania, Ohio, to Lord's University. Oh, wow. Okay, so when did that take place? So the opening at the Woodstock Art Gallery occurred in um, July, uh, on July 15th of this year. And uh, then the exhibition was moved to the Canticle Center to the sister city, of Sylvania. Um, and it opened on October 15th of this year. Very nice. So there were four jurors involved, two Canadian and two American. Okay, and what did that look like? What did the, was it a day? Was it a weekend event that you were at? So the Sylvania experience was a weekend event. Um, we went there, the Canadian delegation went there uh, with Mary Reed and some of the staff uh, from the art gallery and some of the artists. And um, uh, we got there on Friday and we were invited to participate in a silk painting workshop. The Americans were very welcoming, very warm uh, towards us. And um, they were very happy to receive us. And um, we did the workshop. And then we went to Toledo to see the art center there. Then um, the next day was the opening at the Canticle Center. And we did the jurors walk and talk with the other Canadian juror and the American juror. OK, did you know well. the other Canadian juror before you went? Uh, yes, because I met her um, at the opening in Woodstock. It was um, right, okay. uh, Thelma Rosner, and uh, the American jurors were Tamara Monk and Ken Thompson. Okay, well, congratulations on that. That's a, quite an impressive opportunity to be asked to be it a part was, of. It was, and I'm very grateful for, for it. You. So it definitely was a, an honor and a privilege to be part of that. And then I understand that you are going to be starting an exhibition in February? February yes. 17th. And it's opening on February 17th, and uh, the reception open house uh, will take place on February 19th between uh, 1 and 3 p.m., and that is going to be a mother and daughter exhibition. So uh, my mother passed away in 2010, so this is going to be a tribute exhibition um, for her and, uh, well, for myself as well, because she was uh, my main inspiration. Mm -hmm. Um, and she, the, you, the the pieces I understand is what inspired you to to create this. Uh, yes, from so, pieces of her previous art. Um, yes. So what happened? Um, I refer to these uh, works as posthumous collaborations. This piece is called an homage, and this piece is called Red Sky in the Morning. So I utilized some of uh, my mother's. Um, materials uh, that I had found in her collection in combination with my own. So she did the backgrounds, she painted the backgrounds of uh, both of these and I love the color schemes of them. They inspired me to do something with them to create these mixed media pieces um, that um, have her hand painted, paint, uh, hand -painted um, papers and fragments of fabrics that she had dyed as well as my own. So I refer to them as posthumous collaborations because I created these pieces after her passing right, away. So. That's absolutely beautiful. So these pieces will be on display yes, at the Woodstock Art be. Gallery. Okay. Yes. So how long would a piece like this take you to create? <laughs> that's a really good question. It's a very lengthy process, but it's hard for me to answer that uh, black or white because I work on uh, several pieces at the same time. So there are, are other pieces that I work on that require drying time. So while those pieces are drying, I will come in and do this piece. So it can be months. Uh, this piece took a really long time because of the stitching. And that was very, very uh, lengthy, hours and hours of um, stitching to kind of commemorate my mother because in the last seven years of her life, she uh, immersed herself in fiber arts. So it's kind of to um, 
to honor her that way. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful. Okay. And when you're finished and you take a step back, you must feel such a sense of pride and satisfaction in what you've created. I do, and I also feel connected to her mm -hmm. in that way. Okay, so for the exhibition, you had mentioned it opens on February 17th. The open house is February 19th. Um, are tickets going to be for sale, or how can people be? Oh, it's a free event. Okay. So you just show up, and um, I also, I would like to uh, say thank you to Mary Reed for presenting me with this uh, opportunity to act as a juror for this special event uh, with the Sister Cities. And um, also I would like to express uh, thanks to Mary Reed and the Woodstock Art Gallery for supporting me in this whole venture. And also I would like to say thanks to the Ontario Arts Council for the exhibition assistance grant that I received to help me with this exhibition, so. Well, and on behalf of myself and Rogers, we congratulate you for what you've been able to accomplish and, and look forward to seeing how the exhibition goes. Thank you very much and thanks again for having me here. Thanks for being on the show. Thank you. We're gonna take a short break, we'll be right back.